Welcome back, Dollar Dan fam. So I just want to welcome everyone and thank everybody who went shopping with me last week in the fall and Halloween section of Dollar Tree. They had so many great items, but today's video is actually gonna be a haul of a few items that I picked up for myself from the fall section, as well as a couple DIY home decor items that I did for under $5. So I just thought that these items that I put together were just a great deal because if you go try to buy them yourself at like Walmart or Michaels or wherever you get your home decor, you're going to spend at least 20 to like 75 bucks for the same kind of things. Um, so I thought, hey, if this is my first time and I can give it a shot, y'all can try it too. And I just really wanted to show that y'all can um, pretty much make your own customizable and personalized home decor items for the fall um, with just a few Dollar Tree items. So I thought, hey, let me give it a shot so y'all, maybe y'all can try it too. But um, as always, please like and subscribe and share and comment below if there's any items that y'all absolutely just loved. Um, but let's get to it, guys. Okay, guys, well, let's just jump right into it because I have so many items to show y'all um, before I get to the DIYs. So. These items I thought were just super great, items that you could end up using multiple times or get more than one print to kind of change it out however you like it. Um, but the first thing is gonna be this set of pot holders that I thought were really cute, only $1 that honestly you could end up getting them from like Ross or something for like four or five bucks. So I thought that was a good deal because it's a really nice print. They did also have a matching oven mitt that I thought you could decorate together so I thought that would be really cute and same thing probably like four or five bucks maybe like yeah around there from like roster Marshalls but Dollar Tree one dollar I did also find the matching like kitchen towel I did try to pick up the whole set just so I could have it for myself um, they also had the dish drying mat with that super pretty print still as well as placemats so I have seen people doing a lot with these because yeah, they are placemats which you can use in your kitchen, but I have seen people making like pillows out of these and all they do is get both or two different placemats and they kind of like hot glue the edges or sew it kind of closed like simply and they just stuff it um, with like the filler that I'm pretty sure you can get from Walmart. I'm not sure how much that costs, but I thought like, Hey, that's a really good idea for just some easy like fall pillows. I haven't tried it yet myself. I actually probably will end up going today to pick up a few more of these to maybe give it a shot because I don't have any fall pillows right now. And if I can do a fall pillow for three bucks, that sounds good to me. Um, the next items that I was able to pick up that I thought was really cute was going to be this cute little tumbler. It just says pick up the patch and it has that pretty like teal color that I've said is kind of like my theme. Um, and they did have like this cute little fall decor on it. They did have a few more prints, but this was just my favorite. And I drink a lot of like cold teas and stuff like that. So I thought this is like totally for me. The next items I was able to get are just going to be, ooh, not that. <laughs> Let me put that down real quick. Still in the kitchen area, but I thought it was just so cute. I had to get them. Are these little ceramic salt and pepper shakers? I thought they were so adorable, especially for $1. The first set I got was these cute little set of owls. Um, I did also find this little set of squirrels. I think I might actually end up going back and picking up a few more of both to give as gifts because I thought, oh, these are so great for fall, Halloween, and Thanksgiving, and I can't wait to have them at my Thanksgiving table for my family to use. And right, the next items that I was able to get are just gonna be like more decor-ish. So I did pick up these cute um, iridescent candle holders. They almost have like this brown tint to them, but I thought they were really pretty and I figured I could possibly do a few DIYs with them instead of just using them as candle holders. But even if I just use them for that or maybe for like some tiny flowers, I think they would still be really pretty and cute, especially since they have that little extra like shape on them. I did pick up another set of like iridescent candle holders, but these are just going to be more clear. I probably will end up using these more year round for like maybe my makeup brushes or something like that. But I still thought that these 
like matched the fall theme since they still um, had that little iridescent color. So they match with a lot. Ooh, sorry guys. Almost broke the glass. I did also pick up these super cute trinket boxes that I thought still matched like my fall, my fall decor. Um, and I have never seen these before, especially with something this size. And it just is a little trinket box. They had the gold tops, the blue tops. They also had some pink ones, but I don't really have too much pink stuff. So I thought like, let me just get both of these and I could either put them together or use them by themselves. And let me see if I can get one of these lids off for y'all so y'all can see just exactly what's inside. I've already seen inside. I know it's, it's literally just empty. But here, let me take this off so I can show it to y'all. Okay, so that's all it is on the inside. It's pretty deep, so I figured you could use this for like your bathroom stuff or maybe just as decor or you can hide some like Thanksgiving candies. Actually, I have a perfect idea for this because I did um, pick up these super cute and honestly delicious Werther's Original Candies. They did have them in like a caramel apple that I thought was super fall, as well as like this pumpkin spice flavor, which everybody has to have pumpkin spice, even me. So I thought, let me pick up a couple of these to try. I have tried the green apple before and it's really great. Um, I haven't tried pumpkin spice, but I thought, hey, since everybody loves it, might as well. But I figured, hey, you could even just throw them in there. And that can be like your Thanksgiving just candy jar that you have on one of your tables. I don't know, just an idea. But I thought that would work. So the next items I was able to grab were more, they're not exactly fall themed, but I thought that they were just a perfect pickup for like the Thanksgiving holidays because you are gonna have all your family around. And for me at least, waiting around for when the food's done, you'll probably end up watching TV together, watching some football, or maybe playing some games or trying to keep the kids distracted. So my sister actually found these, but she called me as soon as she found them and I was like, oh my God, you have to get them to me so I can show everybody because this is so cool because everybody loves that show. They had family feud card games, which I thought was so awesome. So the, this first one is going to be just like the regular family feud game. It does say it comes with 57 cards in the instructions. They did also have like a platinum edition that had a few, like had a lot of different questions in case you just run out of this set but they did also have like a parents and kids version which I didn't get for myself since I don't have kids but um I know my sister got that one because she's a teacher but I already played this game it was a lot of fun you would think that it would just be easy since it's family feud just like when you're watching the show and you're like oh my god how did they not get that answer right like I could have gotten that and I could have won all the money no when I played this game, I totally blew it. I couldn't get the answers because like as soon as they asked the question, I, my whole, my, my head just went blank. So I was kind of losing, but I still had a lot of fun and I thought this was a great deal for $1. Even if you're just stocking up like your game section in your home, I thought that this was a really great find. So be on the lookout for them. The next items I, would, I was able to pick up are more like decor, home decor section, stuff like that. So this is a vase that I had picked up from Dollar Tree before. This is what I currently have in it, just some like onion grass that's also from Dollar Tree. Um, but I figured, hey, I could just switch this out for just like more fall themed stuff. So I did find this like pretty, I don't know what you wanna call it. It's more like plant. It is kind of messy, so be careful where you use it in your house because it does kind of shed a little bit. But I thought, hey, just throwing this in here, um, three bucks you have like an end piece for one of your shelves or maybe you can add some like tall skinny flowers in here i thought that would be pretty pretty too where you could have it just around your house maybe in your bathrooms or maybe even put like oh those like um like those oil scent stems in here to maybe have this in your bathroom i figured there's a lot you could do with this but this technically since it's two bunches in this it's only three dollars so i figured hey that's an easy quick and easy diy that you can do yourselves um for like home decor section, I did also pick up these like metal words. I did lose the, oh, here it is. Sorry, I didn't lose it. This is the tag that was on here. I did already open it to see what was inside or how they felt. It just says metal words. Um, and it did come with harvest. Here's this pretty harvest one and it is actual metal. 
There is a welcome one. And there also is a thankful, which is, I mean, all of these are super fall, but I figured there's a lot you can do with them, whether you're just like placing them on top of something or in front of something, or actually using them and or incorporating them into like a DIY. Um, I figured there's a lot you can do with these. I did actually try to use these on my wreath um, that I made to show y'all, but I kind of just decided to go a different direction, use something else that I picked up from Dollar Tree, but I still thought these were great to have, especially because I saw somebody post that they found these exact words at Walmart for like $4, so I was like, I might as well grab it for a dollar. From the decor section, I did also pick up this like tweed little pumpkin. They did have a few other colors, but this one kind of still matched all my thing where it was more like a neutral tone. So I thought this was a great deal. And what I super love about these is that they're styrofoam. So they're kid friendly. So if you do end up putting them on a table or a shelf and you do have little ones, you don't have to worry about them just like knocking it off the table and it just shattering because it's styrofoam. So you're gonna be good. Easy cleanup. I did also pick up these little like pumpkins that have these wires on the back where you can kind of just stab them in wherever you want and make whatever that was just fall themed where it could just be like some flowers or whatever you have on your shelf just throw some pumpkins in it and all of a sudden it's fall themed. I did also pick up these like they just say mini fall wreath on them where you can hang them or use them by themselves on a table. I thought about maybe getting some like tall candle holders and putting it just in the center because they do have that hole in the middle where you can do a few things with them. Or, I mean, you can just get a few of them and make them their like their own wreaths. Um, but they did have a few different like colorways and a few with like different plants and flowers on them. Those are just the ones I chose because I felt like they did fit my theme the best. So the next item that I wanted to show y'all is one of the DIY home decor items. Just like this simple um, arrangement right here that I put together for like three bucks. I did do the same thing with some beautiful flowers. They did have a lot of awesome different kinds of flowers in a lot of different colors. These are just the ones that I picked up for myself. And I did also use one of the Dollar Tree um, flower pots that have like this nice metal and this cool like tweed cord on there. And what I did was I picked up four different sets of flowers and kind of just jumbled them all together. And I didn't exactly fasten it too tight so I could pull the flowers out still to show y'all what I did. So I cut them all the way at the bottom of like the stem because they, they are put together with like wire. And so I did that by using um, some shears that I got from the gardening section at Dollar Tree. And I will be showing a picture of all the items that I used to do this. And I did also end up using the wire that I showed y'all in the tool video before, just to kind of like fasten it together. And like I said, I didn't tighten it too much so I could still take it apart easily to show y'all exactly what I did on here. But after that, I did just like pop them in here. And that is just a simple little flower arrangement that I put together under $5, but they do also have those like foam like squares and balls that you can kind of just stab all your flowers in so they don't move at all. And you just put that foam inside here so nobody can even see it. Just, just a heads up in case y'all don't want to use wire or plan on using like the same um, styrofoam on multiple times to like switch out the flowers of seasons. But this is just how I did it since I already had that wire on hand, but I thought it was really cute. And I thought that this was also a pretty good deal because it still was only $5. And I know if I go try to just buy a flower arrangement, it's gonna cost a lot more. But I hope y'all like it. Okay guys, so this is going to be the last um, DIY home decor item that I was able to make for y'all for under $5. This right here is my very first ever attempt at making a wreath. Like I said, it was only $5. Um, I spent a dollar on the decorative mesh right here. I spent $1 on this welcome fall plaque that does have this like cool um, buffalo check on the bottom or buffalo check print on the bottom. I did also use one bunch of Dollar Tree flowers and I used the wreath ring to as a, like the base for all of it. And I did also pick up the wreath over the door hanger. I guess that is one extra dollar, but you don't really need to have the over the door if you're gonna hang the wreath inside your house. 
but it's just gonna be this right here. So it makes it super simple to just hang your wreath on your door. They did also have that in like an orange, I think a green as well. And I think possibly a red, but I just picked up the brown because it matched my door. And honestly, you don't really see it too much because it's under the wreath. Um, but all I did to make this wreath was use these main three items so this is going to be the wreath ring that is the base for all of it it is 14 inches still only one dollar so you can use this for multiple things it doesn't have to be like this you can um, just use flowers if you only want to do a flower wreath or however you want to decorate it and i also use this roll of decorative mesh it's this giant roll of material it does have an example of a wreath on it they did have a few different colorways i just picked up the gold and the red for myself to maybe um i'm not sure if i'm going to use this one to make like another fall wreath or if i'm going to make it more like incorporated for christmas since it does have that red on it but this does say it's 21 inches by five yards so you're getting so much material for only one dollar and the last item that I use to make this wreath are going to just be these chenille stems. And honestly, they are just pipe cleaners. And this is pretty much used to pretty much support all of that mesh and kind of like tighten it on here so it doesn't just fall off. You don't have to use the pipe cleaners. You could also use that same wire that I showed y'all for like the flowers that I um, did also show in my tool video. Um, that one did work really well um, so really you can go either direction I just had used these because they did have like the silver and gold colors in it so in some areas before I like puffed it up in areas you could still see the Chanel stem a little bit but it would just look like extra little gold and silver shimmer I did also pick up um, a few different colors of tool that I had planned on using on here but I thought why don't I just keep it as simple as possible and leave it at $5? But they did also have a lot of different prints and colors of tulle. So I did pick up a few glitter ones to maybe use on the next wreath or maybe on um, whatever other like DIY or craft I end up doing. I just thought like, hey, it's super good to just stock up on a few crafting items because you don't never know what you're really gonna end up making or doing. But I thought, hey, this was all a really great deal. And I did make this wreath for under $5. And like I said before, if you go try to buy a wreath at like Walmart, Ross, or honestly, like Michael's, it's going to cost at least 25 to like 70 bucks for just a, just a wreath when you can just make it yourself and just dress up the front of your house or wherever you decide to put it. But I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. I didn't just pick this up. This is like a repeat item that I've had but it does say gift sinks and it is also from Dollar Tree and I just also have it hanging on my door. Um, so I just wanted to point that out since it's in the shot. But I just wanted to thank everybody for watching today. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and please be on the lookout for a couple future videos where I will be showing my spooky haul and as, as well as putting together a few gift baskets for under $5 that I think would be really cute that your family and friends would really love. And I think I might also be putting a few boo baskets together for your loved ones but look out for those videos please like subscribe and share today's video and see y'all next time bye guys